Recently, I learned about this amazing game dev tool that I wanted to share with you guys, so let's get right into it. This is a tool that I was talking about, it's called Tick80. And this has everything you need to make your very own games all in one app. But when you first boot it up, it doesn't really look like it. it it's just a terminal window. This is called the console. Now to actually switch to the uh, development area, you have to click the escape key. This toggles in between the console and the development area, which consists of a code editor, a sprite editor, a map, sound, and music as well. So five editors in total, everything you need to make your very own games. And it also comes with a simple hello world example. Now let's see how we can use these editors. So I can create a small sprite inside of the sprite editor, very simple. So I just have to keep in mind the sprite's number. Now I'll switch over to the code editor by clicking F1 and already function tick and anything in between here and the end statement over here will get called 60 times a second. So what I could do is clear the screen and then draw sp sprite 16 at some random coordinates like 100, 100. If I run the game now, I can either go to the console and click run, enter, or I can click this button over here, control R also works. And then I have my sprite. And let me put it at the center of the screen. The screen's width is 240 pixels and the height is 126 pixels. So this should put the uh, sprite at the center of the screen. Let's add some movement now. So I'll create two variables, x and y, which I'll set to 120 and y to 63. Variables are just ways to store data. So what I can do is I can draw this at x and y. This should do the exact same thing, but now what I can do is I can add a statement here. If I'm clicking button 0, which is the up arrow, then I want to set y equal to y minus 1. Because in computer graphics, the y decreases going up and increases going down. The x increases going right and the uh, x decreases going left. So, if button 2, which, or sorry, 1, which is down, then y is equal to y plus 1. And if button 2, then x is equal to x plus 1 end, or minus 1, 2 is the left arrow key. And finally, if button 3, which is right, then x is equal to x plus 1 end. What I can do now is move the player around with the arrow keys. Perfect. What else can we do? Let's create a small map for the player to move around in. So what I'll do is make this green and then uh, add some grass in this one. Now in the map editor I can draw with those sprites which I made earlier so I'm gonna add some grass all around and then inside of my code what I can do is draw map zero and what this does is it draws a map but we have this ug ugly black box around the player so I can easily give it one more parameter the transparent color which is zero which um, is a black color so this will make it transparent and as you can see, we have a simple moving person. What you can do is, once you're done making your amazing game, then what you can do is, you can save the game as a .tick file. So, I can call this, for example, my game. And then this saves as mygame.tick. It's just one small file which you can send to a friend. And then once you got that, um, they open up Tick80, they load the cartridge, right? And then they can run the game. However, they actually need to have Tick80 for this to work. 
What if you want a friend who doesn't have to get it to play it, or you just want to put it online or something? What you can do is you can export it to HTML by typing export HTML or just export. What this does is um, it will open up a folder or a file uh, save as window. And what you can do is save this somewhere. I'm just going to save this on my desktop. And now what I can do is I open up the file explorer, go to desktop, and I can find, there it is. So, no, not this one. Here. So, you can double click it and it fires up inside of the web browser. So, I'll put a link to the website of Tick80 in the description below, or I'll just put it on the screen right here. And what you can do is you can go there and then you can either download Tick80 or you can use it in the web browser. I'm planning on making a tutorial series on Tick80 as well, so stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, click that like button, subscribe. You, if you want, you can join my Discord server. The link is in the, in the, in the description below. So, see you in the next video.